Hello, my name is Dr. Karen Gibbon and I work as a consultant dermatologist for Bart's Health, which is the largest NHS trust in the UK. I came into dermatology via a rather circuitous route, having been a general practitioner, and I'm very keen to enthuse the next generation of doctors to want to come forward and train to be dermatologists. Hello, I'm Dr. Andy Locke. I'm an ST6 registrar in dermatology at the Royal London Hospital. Andy, in terms of your training as an ST6, you've done a variety of things, but mm -hmm. tell me what got you into dermatology in the first place. So I think first I had a two-week attachment at medical school in dermatology. Um, I remember being greeted by a very enthusiastic team of dermatologists, seemed very keen to teach us. Um, and then we had two weeks of uh, teaching sessions, uh, sitting in on clinics where we saw a variety of um, conditions. And I think what struck me initially was the variety. So we saw skin cancers, we saw people with different rashes. And at the time I didn't have a clue what they were, but um, we saw more common conditions such as eczema and psoriasis. And then we also got a chance to sit in and see people performing uh, minor operations, uh, surgery, and got to go to the ward to see some inpatients that were being uh, treated by the dermatologists. Mm -hmm. So um, initially it was, the, it was the variety for me. Mm -hmm. um, but then towards the end of the uh, two weeks, um, I remember seeing a couple of cases uh, where even the consultant didn't know what was going on and they had to actually bring the patient to a, a complex clinical meeting, they called it. Mm -hmm. So it seemed like a very challenging uh, specialty. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the last thing that struck me was um, a lot of the patients were very grateful. Mm -hmm. um, the dermatologists treating their conditions obviously improved their quality of life uh, a lot. And this was obviously very good for the patient and very re rewarding for the uh, consultants and registrars that were seeing them. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what first uh, got me into dermatology. DermSoc runs uh, once a year before the annual uh, BAD conference. Mm -hmm. And this is a good opportunity for medical students and foundation doctors to get involved in dermatology, uh, see what we do uh, and learn, uh, learn a bit more about dermatology and, and, and really uh, get started and put something on their CV mm -hmm. um, to get them interested. Mm -hmm. Good. The BAD that you referred to stands for British Association of Dermatologists. Yes, yes the bad society. We're not <laughs> bad doctors. We're enthusiastic doctors. I think that comes across. I think the opportunity for working with other colleagues as well is really important, isn't it? You know, I, I, in, in a month, I will work with gynaecologists, mm -hmm. we have the opportunity to work with paediatricians, we work with other general surgeons, so we may do clinics where we run um, a surgical session with ocular plastics. Mm -hmm. So your surgical skills really get honed, don't they? You do a lot yes. of surgery yes, um, and their skin cancer is increasing. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got skin cancer patients coming through who've had dozens of tumours, mm. so you're working with geneticists, mm. um, you're working with research, you're grabbing tissue from the biopsies that you're taking uh, with patient's consent of course and getting that analysed, so mm. things like BRAF mutations, analysis for melanoma, things that are constantly changing and we've got just some fabulous colleagues I think in the UK, yes. Yeah. I didn't start my training personally until I was 40 <laughs> and coming back into hospital medicine as a junior doctor then as a <laughs> registrar it was really tough. It was it was yeah. hard going. It was it was difficult. There's, there's a, I think there's a there's a misconception that you go into dermatology and it's very easy. You know, it's nine to five. Nine to five. Mm -hmm. you, you see a patient, give them a cream, mm -hmm. there you go on your way. Yes. Yes. But uh, it's not like that at all. Um, it's especially in the first year, you, you're seeing patients in a, in busy outpatient clinics. Mm -hmm. um, you might get a bit of lunch in between uh, when you can have time to see referrals mm -hmm. because of course you hold the referral bleep yes. during the clinic. Um, you'll have minor operations to do and a lot, a lot of the, the training is on the job so um, at the beginning it's, it's quite taxing mm -hmm. and a lot of the cases you see you, you won't really know what's going on quite at the beginning. bewildering isn't yes. it? Yes mm -hmm. and that's why it's important to have good colleagues, um, consultants and registrars who you can ask for help. You feel part of a team. Yeah yes. it really is teamwork mm -hmm. because you can uh, you know that you can everyone in everyone I've worked with in dermatology consultants and, and registrars and nurses are very approachable they're very friendly people mm -hmm. and they're very keen to uh, help mm -hmm. and even bring you into their clinic to show you something. Mm -hmm. you go, hey yes. Andy, look at this. Uh, have you seen this before? Yes. And that's okay. really how you learn. Mm 